So I'm here with the Reverend Fletcher Harper, who is the founder and I believe primary lead at Green Faith. And uh, he's an Episcopal priest in the United States. And he, like myself, has been at environmental justice ministry and advocacy for well over 20, if not 30 years. And I'm curious, Fletcher, who you are and what do you do and why are you doing it? Thanks very much for the conversation. Um, I am inspired and moved in this work by a lot of people, by uh, a deep sense of awe and wonder and gratitude at the powerful and beautiful mystery of creation and a real sadness and despair and anger at its desecration and destruction. You know, we've known about this crisis for decades now, and it's just sickening that we are where we are. Um, as you said, I direct Green Faith, which is an international multi-faith climate justice organization that works with grassroots people of faith in 10 countries around the world, in Asia, Africa, Europe, Latin America, North America. Um, we oppose new fossil fuel and deforestation projects and related financing. We call for just transition for impacted workers and communities and for payments by historic climate polluters for the damage that they've caused that's irreparable, which is getting increasingly worse around the world. Where did the call come for you to this particular ministry? You know, it, I like a majority of people I have had throughout life, some of my most meaningful spiritual experiences outdoors. And like an awful lot of people of faith, Christian, Muslim, Jewish, Hindu, Buddhist, um, a big part of what my faith means to me is to work actively for our social transformation and social justice. So the, those two things came together for me in, in the early 2000s, right around the same time as for you. And um, that's, that's where it got started. Can you say a little bit more about how things happen in the green faith world? Yeah, we, we respond to the, the needs and concerns of people who are impacted by climate change on the front lines in a, a growing number of places. And those impacts look different and feel different and are different in different contexts. So, for example, we're doing a uh, we're campaigning to try to stop the East Africa crude oil pipeline. Uh, which is a terrible idea of a pipeline plan to go through Uganda into Tanzania. It's The project is led by the French multinational Total Energy. Um, so it's a project initiating conceptually in the global north and financially in the global north and in China and carried out on the ground in Africa. The impacts on the ground in Africa on communities are severe, more than 100,000 people displaced, toxic contamination along the route of the planned pipeline, uh, threats to drinking water supplies, to habitat. Uh, and most recently, as we've revealed in a report we released uh, just this week, a uh, destruction or disturbance of more than 2,000 traditional grave sites uh, along the planned route for the pipeline. We're also, so grassroots, we work with grassroots faith leaders in Uganda and Tanzania who are really courageously um, speaking out publicly at a security risk to themselves about the pain that their communities are suffering and about the fact that this is wrong and calling for it to stop. Our team in France is organizing French religious leaders uh, and people of faith who are similarly taking action there because they don't want France to uh, maintain or to perpetuate um, the expansion of fossil fuels, particularly in a manner that represents the very neo-colonialist approach that uh, the French nation has, has forsworn. So it's an example of working in different ways in different places around a, a common mission. Where, where we see the greatest hope and the greatest success is where people of faith, publicly inspired and motivated by their faith, go beyond making statements, go beyond um, hearing sermons, no matter how powerful and effective, go beyond 
um, study sessions inside of the four walls of a church or a mosque or a synagogue and actually become publicly involved in climate justice campaigning. So um, we've got an active campaign targeting the um, BlackRock and Vanguard, who are two of the world's largest asset managers, who are also two of the world's largest investors in fossil fuels. Our team has carried out several different direct actions, peaceful, prayerful direct actions um, at the offices of those corporations in collaboration in Vanguard's case with a fantastic Quaker network called Equate. And so we think, and, and in those moments, we see hope because we see people of faith getting real about what's going to be required. These major financial institutions are not going to change without sustained intense pressure um, because they like making money and they can still find ways to make quite a lot of money out of fossil fuels. You know, Ken, since the Paris Climate Agreement was, was signed, you know, around the world, the 60 largest banks have financed fossil fuels with over 5.5 trillion U.S. dollars. Um, annual government subsidies for fossil fuels topped the seven trillion dollar mark in 2022. So the the financial flows are not moving in the way that they need to. And uh, conversely, the International Monetary Fund said that you know you get rid of those fossil fuel subsidies, you prevent 1.6 million premature deaths annually, you raise government, reve government revenues by four and a half trillion dollars, and you put emissions on track towards reaching the, the global goals that we need to meet. So there are equitable climate solutions that are out there that need investment capital to scale up at reasonable rates of return. And that's the way the world's financial system needs to needs to function. So we're going to be campaigning actively for that. And if anybody wants to learn more about that campaign and join in the original cohort, please, you know, please reach out. You can find our contact information at greenfaith.org. Thanks for your time today. That's a great way to end our conversation. Prayers for you and for Green Faith. Take care. Many thanks, Ken. Great to be with you.